Hello, Reformers, and welcome back to Britain Walder. Now I have garrisoned Dincardo the best I can by adding a lot of level 1 units and so forth, as I really don't want to spare any of my more elite units just at the moment. But for now, I think we will be heading off to try to take this particular vassal down. He has been looting a lot of our villages as well, so... Hopefully we can take him down and prevent him from causing any further damage. So let's go right away into the action here. I was planning on actually trying to siege the Dumnonia fief down to the southwest, but unfortunately a lot of the Gwise vassals are being rather a thorn in our side, as it were, so we may have to adapt a little bit. And we'll see what we can do after that. Now, we have 104, they have 70. And they are going to move very slowly. So, you know what's coming. I will see you soon. Okay, so here we go. We are now ready to charge in, as you can probably see. Yes, <laughs> we are almost there. And now let us go in with our one cavalry unit and myself. We will hopefully do quite a bit of damage to their missile units. And by that I mean taking at least one of them down. Why not? Okay, come on. Let's do as much damage as we possibly can. Take out this fellow right here. Oh my, that was quite some damage from this spear user. And he was exceptionally lucky with his throwing skill right there. Oh my. You're going down. I will chase you to the ends of the earth. Well, maybe not that far. But I will take you down. <laughs> there we go. Actually, never mind. There we go. Okay. Now he has taken down. Very good. Okay. We're getting more enemies incoming, but I don't think they should be too much trouble. Take out his horse. And, ooh, Aethne has advanced to level 11. I'm very happy to see that. Our companions leveling up is always a good thing. Maybe eventually Aethne will become a vassal of ours, because I believe Altan is a little too useful in our party to let go, because he is our medic. He has an exceptional amount of skills to that effect. I think he has 8 in surgery, 8 in first aid, I believe, and 7 in wound treatment, so yes, there's no way I would let Altan go, and oh my, he's actually getting quite a few kills as we speak as well. So that's very nice indeed. Okay, there we are. We won very easily. And I will be letting this guy go. Let's now capture as many as we can. And then move on. There we are. Loot. Yes, very nice. Okay, no war trophies or anything, so that's fine. And I think we may actually want to head into the marketplace really fast. Who is this? Young warriors. They have a lot of prisoners there. Oh my. Okay. Oh. Okay. I may have raided that beforehand, so that's probably why they don't have much food. Okay. So let's move this down here. I'm still looking for that Pictish crossbow, I think. But I don't see anything here, unfortunately. No. Okay. Well, that's fine. Not a problem as yet, but for now I think we will be heading... Hmm, actually, I actually want to fight these young warriors. Because 177 prisoners, that is too good to pass up. So we're going to go in right here, and... <laughs> ah, yes, I see. I wish to collect the bounties of some criminals I have captured. Aha, so you can sell these to these fellows. That's pretty cool. I suppose these are like the Manhunters. Aha, okay. That seems pretty cool. There's your bounty. Okay, well, I actually want to fight you, so... Would that be... Oh my, okay, we have actually declared war upon the Manhunters. Well, they do actually have quite a few troops that I would like to recruit, so I don't really think that's too big a mistake. So, let's go. I wouldn't have thought that saying that would have caused so much of a huge relation decrease, but I suppose if you want to fight them, then you must go all the way. With the aggression, that is. Okay, so let's actually see what they're going to do. They're pretty much just going to stand there again, I think. 
which is rather unfortunate. I am getting a little tired of that, actually. But hopefully that will soon stop a little bit later, maybe. I mean, even the vassals aren't really charging forward. Uh, oh well. Okay, here we go. Our troops have now caught up, and we are going in. Let's do it. Go, infantry, charge! Oh yes, okay. Now we may have to be a little more cautious here, because I believe they have some rather dangerous units on their side. I could be incorrect about that, but they seem to do quite a bit of damage, maybe? Yes, they do. An exceptional amount of damage. Oh my. That is exactly why I was saying I was going to be cautious. But I was absolutely not. I was almost the opposite of that. Reckless, without abandon, oh my. Yes. Okay, that is fine. That is no problem at all. Come on, let's take him down, take him down, help this one guy over here. We need to make sure we keep as many units alive as possible for upcoming sieges. Come on. Oh, take him down. Oh my, he actually got taken out, really? Okay. I was expecting him to actually be able to win one versus one, but I suppose he was too heavily damaged in the initial attack, which is rather unfortunate. But there we are anyway. We were very successful in taking them all down, and now we can rescue all of their prisoners, and... Whoa, they do have a lot. Very happy about this indeed. Okay, there we are. We have taken every single prisoner and every single rescued prisoner as well. Oh yes, that is exceptional. Very, very good. Helping us a lot. And there we are. Okay. That was worth it, I think. Look at that. We have 551 troops in our army now. Oh yeah. Very nice. And Aethne leveled up. Have to remember her, of course. And now, I believe... Hmm... This is difficult. I think one more in intellect would probably help, and she is also a medic. Aha, so we could potentially let Altan become a vassal if needed. Okay, for now I think she will spec into trainer a little bit more, and that will be it for now. Okay, there we go. Not bad. So, I think now we may want to... Ooh, who is that? Look at that guy, Mumain. He has 306 prisoners. That is rather extravagant, I have to admit. Okay, I'll tell you what. I'm actually going to go into the garrison here. I'm going to place my 105 units here. Or rather low-level units, that is. And then what I will do is place a few missile troops. And I think you all can guess what I am planning on doing. Ooh, mm, I need to get quite a few in here, don't I? Okay, I think that will be enough. Hmm, I hope so at least. Okay, so now, where were they? Oh no, we need to get back there. Let's run, quickly. Aha, here he is. Okay, so, are we still at war with the Moomain, by the way? I think we are, because he is running from us. So, let's actually take a look here really fast. Faction relations, yes. Okay, here we are. We are now at war with the Gwynedd, the Moomain, the Penguern, the Suthsiax, the Gwise, the Gwent, wow, okay, Krafu, Mias, Dumnonia, and Brishiniog. And, yes, again, my pronunciation, terrible, terrible. But anyway, we will hopefully catch up to this guy and take him on, because he has 306 prisoners. That would help us so much to garrison Din Cardo against any potential threats. Oh yeah, there we are, we meet again. Hmm, I do want to make peace, but I want his prisoners, so let's do that. Let's go. He only has 45, so this should be exceptionally easy, but... The only problem, of course, is the fact that we missed our chance to make peace. That is, of course, if this is the leader of the Moomain. I would expect he might be, because he has said that his previous fief was Kaseel. I think that maybe was the capital of Moomain. I cannot remember exactly. 
But yes, it could be. But in any case, for now, we will be taking him down and hopefully being able to recruit as many rescued prisoners as possible. Okay, let's get ready to take them down. Sorry for the small cut there, a raccoon was stealing my TV. So, let us now head down here and take out the enemy's army. Oh yes, I am so looking forward to gaining 306 prisoners. You have no idea. It is probably the easiest amount of prisoners I've ever gotten. And hopefully it will work out in the end to actually assist us in more ways than one. Because I can imagine taking quite a few prisoners would impact our morale rather severely. So what I'm going to do is, once we get the prisoners, I'm going to be placing a lot of them in Dincardo. And then that should be one of the safest places in our entire empire. So we can only hope that that never gets sieged again. Because I can imagine that a lot of different factions would love to take Dincardo away from us, destroy our forces' morale and so forth, but yes, we will now take the fight to the Moomain as we are currently doing, and hopefully not get our pony killed again, because <laughs> in the previous bout we had some rather unlucky justice from the end of a spear. But yes, it seems like we are doing a rather good job in this particular case right here. Not actually taken any damage, which is very rare indeed for us. But here we go. I'm going to take out this guy right here, if we can. And that is the bad thing about having a smaller reach, but the damage is enough to take him down. Oh yes, there we go. And we had no casualties whatsoever. Oh my. Okay, well that was very fortunate indeed. And as you can see, they have... A lot of prisoners, oh yes. Okay, so, here we go. Okay, so there we are. I've taken as many as I possibly can, as you can see, and we have 656 in our army now. We are a force to be reckoned with, by any means, and hopefully that will mean that no one will challenge us. Oh yes, uh, that would be very nice indeed. And now I think we will head back to Dincardo. After this real-time event, that is, one of your soldiers succumbs to his wounds from a previous battle. Oh my, okay. We're going to hold a funeral in his name. Yes, we gain reputation, and we lost a small amount of money. Not bad at all. Okay. And, oh my, okay, so it seems as though that particular vassal was the one key to destroying the Moomain once and for all, so hopefully now they won't continue to siege and raid and pillage our villages. That would be very nice indeed, because goodness knows they have been a rather painful thorn in our side for quite some time now. I believe for quite a few episodes. Oh my. But there we are anyway. We are very lucky to actually take them out of the game once and for all, and there we are. So I guess... What I will do now is most likely end this episode off here. I know it wasn't very action-packed. I do apologize for that. It hasn't been a great day for me whatsoever, but hopefully I did a reasonable job in this particular episode. I hope to make it a little bit more action-packed in the next one. So I thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.